this is the next topic block and tackle system of pulleys in this system of pulley there are two blocks the upper block is fixed to a rigid support while the tackle which is the lower block is movable and load is attached to the tackle the number of pulleys in the tackle is either equal to or less than the fixed upper block today i will discuss with you two diagrams of block and tackle system of pulley the first one in the figure here you can see that there are four pulleys that means this is the diagram for even number of pulleys and that one is the diagram for odd number of pulleys so let us begin with the first one where the number of pulleys are even the upper one which is fixed is the block and the lower one which is movable is the tackle and the load is attached to the movable part of the system so there is a rope which is hanging let us say this is hanging from this side and we will have to pull the rope so let's see how this rope gets connected with rest of the pulleys so here this is the effort applied and from the other end you will have to join the uppermost and the lowermost pulleys together with the help of the string and then from the other end it goes to the second way of the upper block from the other side it is joined with the upper way of the lower block which is the tackle and finally the string that comes out from the other side of this v will get attached to the upper block in this way so this is how you connect the ropes together in a even in a block and tackle system with even number of pulleys let's now mark the direction of all the forces that are acting on the system effort as mentioned it is definitely in the downward direction load the force due to the load will be also in the downward direction now in this diagram you can very well observe that this time the load is supported by four strings 1 2 3 and 4 that means now each uh, sorry all four strings are supporting load and therefore the force due to load acting on the string is equally divided into four parts and this is the tension which will act in the upward direction in all the four strings so if i want to write l it will be equal to 4 t on this row due to effort there is tension acting which will be in the upper direction so effort is also t from here we'll get mechanical advantage of the pulley equal to pulley system will be equal to 4 so as i have told earlier that what do you interpret from this value mechanical advantage if it is greater than 1 then it means it is a force multiplier the value here is 4 so let's see if 100 newton of load needs to be lifted then the amount of effort that you will now apply will only be 25 newton which is much less than the previous three pulleys that were taught to you just now since all the four strings are supporting the load equal to 100 newton therefore each the value of tension on each of the string will be divided into four that means 100 upon 4 the value of tension will be 25 newton so that is how the distribution of force is that was mechanical advantage as we are considering only the ideal situation so mechanical advantage is always equal to vr which is the velocity ratio so velocity ratio is also 4 now what is the meaning of the value velocity ratio equals to 
it means that in the displacement if you want to displace the load by a distance of 1 meter then now the rope that means you will pull the rope from here the rope will be displaced by 4 meter that means loss of speed the greater the value of mechanical advantage the lesser the force you apply but the greater the distance the force sorry the effort needs to be uh, moved to get the load shifted by a certain value so that is the block and tackle system of four pulleys next is block and tackle system of five pulleys as i have told that if you have even number of pulleys then the number of pulleys in the upper block should be equal to number of pulleys in the lower block that is the tackle but in the case when you have odd number of pulleys then the number of pulleys in the movable part that is the tackle part should be lesser than that of the block now let's see how to join the strings in the uh, in this particular system so this is the system of five pulleys so let's see how to join them if effort is applied in this direction then from the other end the string goes down to the lowest wheel from this side it is to be joined with the second one then the other end of this wheel joins with the first one of the tackle the topmost one then here and ultimately the one which is coming out of the last wheel of the upper block it is joined with the hook load is in the downward direction effort is in the downward direction there will be a tension due to this effort definitely in the upward direction now uh, in the figure it is clearly shown that the load is being now supported by five strings therefore each string will experience tension equally therefore if i have to lift a load of 100 newton effort let's see how much it should be so for that i will find the mechanical advantage mechanical advantage in this case will be 5 because the value of l will be 5t just because it is being supported by five strings so tension is divided equally in all those five strings and effort is equal to t so on putting the values we'll get mechanical advantage equals to 5 so that means if I have to lift a load of 100 Newton, then effort which I will apply will be 5 times lesser than the value of load, which is 20 Newton. Each of the string is experiencing the load equally. Therefore, the value of tension on each of the string will also be 20 Newton everywhere. I'm not writing the value 20 Newton because there is no space, but I think you will understand that at every string the amount of uh, force that it will experience due to tension will be 20 newton and this is all because of the mechanical advantage value being 5 mechanical advantage is equal to velocity ratio equals to 5 so here it means that if i have to lift the load by 1 meter displacement due to load is if uh, it is 1 meter then the displacement due to effort that means I will have to pull the rope by 5 meter that means here the speed is much lesser than the or slower than the previous case where mechanical advantage was 4 so that is the basic idea of block and tackle system of pulleys So I have drawn here few pulleys. First one you can identify this is the fixed pulley. So mechanical advantage of fixed pulley is 1. Velocity ratio is also 1. It means that amount of load is always equal to amount of 
effort as well as dl is equal to de no gain in the force no gain in the speed but it is used to change the direction of force or effort applied to a convenient direction modified version of this one is a single movable pulley mechanical advantage is 2 velocity ratio is 2 because mechanical advantage is 2 therefore the effort is equal to half of load right and displacement due to effort is equal to twice of displacement due to load so the gain in uh, force is compromised by the gain in uh, sorry the loss in speed third one is the single movable pulley system ma equals to 2 velocity ratio is equal to 2 effort is equal to half of load applied displacement due to effort is equal to twice of displacement due to load here the values and the values here are same but the only difference is that in this case the effort is towards gravity and here it was against gravity so this is preferred over single movable pulley and then the next uh, two are block and tackle system of pulleys in this one the load is supported by three strings and this is a uh, system of odd number of pulleys and therefore the number of pulleys in the tackle is lesser than that of block so you can see clearly the load is supported by three strings that means the mechanical advantage will be three velocity ratio is three effort now will be one third of the load that means if you are trying to lift 100 newton load then the effort will be only equal to 33.3 newton and displacement due to effort is thrice of displacement due to load that was in this case so i hope you are able to compare all the pulleys at one go okay and now comes the last one just now discussed with you that ma will be equal to 5 because the load is supported by 5 strings and hence l will be 5t e is equal to t which gives us ma equals to 5 vr is also equal to 5 now ma5 means that the effort applied will be five times less than that of load but the displacement due to effort is equal to five times displacement due to load so that is uh, the entire description of pulleys all types of pulleys